All right, ready? Let's go. Krodazen, baby. I'm actually gonna put that on the title too. All right, now now I feel happy. So, how does it feel you're gonna do a raid for the first time, bro? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just gonna make sure I have my guns. And we're gonna do... No, you're gonna be fine. This is the level 30, bro. I think it's that one I need to... Yeah. Trust me, you better than you think, bro. All right. Go ahead and stand on that circle. No. No, no, no. You, you gotta do it. That's how you form the bridge ahead and we fall down. Yeah, look down and look at the bridge. You see the bridge forming and the circle lighting up? We, we, we gotta still wait, it'll light up. When it's ready right now, let's go. And go ahead and drop in the hole. And good luck to you. Wee! Uh, it it can happen randomly sometimes right where are you there you are so look at me do you see that red stuff above my head all right so come I'm over here you see on the left it says weight of darkness if you have any weight of darkness at least times one you cannot do the the jetpack thing and at times 10 you can't even run and you do slow down as the number goes up so we gotta run to the lamps bring the darkness down and we run to the next one until we reach the end of the the abyss part so, whenever you're ready, we we'll run to the lamb and then we find the next one and the next one until we reach the end. Sounds easy, right? So, we gotta move because the lambs blow up also. to move let me know when you have no weight of darkness and over there is the next one and we gotta go And eventually, we're gonna reach a circle like the one we did on top, move bro. 
Yeah, we gotta step on it and defend the area until the bridge clears, like it did on at the start of the raid. And then the weight goes away and we just run to the light and we're done with this part. No, you're doing great, bro. Right over there is the other one, it's the next one. Yeah, but this is way easier than the Raid Destiny 2. So they added so many things in their uh, new raid. They just made it too complicated. Alright, let's go. Why is my darkness zero? Or oh, why is my darkness ten? Oh no, that's not good. Yeah. Welcome to Destiny. Why is that? We're gonna clip that. We are gonna clip that. Yeah, I'm gonna die too. Somehow the game is broken. Uh, can you type clip in the chat, bro? Okay, now it's working. Uh, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I almost died again. Thank you, bro. Why was that? I was standing on the lamb. I never saw that shit. Like, my weight of darkness wasn't going down. It didn't, it didn't make sense. Yeah, I think it was glitching. Super back, we're good. Self first for the win, baby. Oh, that's the night. Run, 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 run. I'm scared. I don't know if I can do this without you, bro. Yeah. And GG's. That's the abyss part. Now the question is for the next part bro. Do you want me to explain to you the normal mechanics or you don't really care about that? How it normally works? Okay. Just be careful where you stand though. You're gonna be fine. Oh, I want that heavy ammo. Shall I go and take it? I'm gonna go for it. 
And boom. That goes the weight of darkness. And now you just run to the light and you're done with this part. Alright, now comes the annoying part, the part that takes forever. Okay. So, in order to complete this part, you need to kill certain knights. But those knights take damage only from a sword that you get from a red knight that comes out that way. But, in order to cross the bridge, you need that sword, otherwise you die. So, how do you normally do this with six players? One of them stands in the middle circle. One stands in the left, on the left, and one to the right. So, the team pretty much doesn't die from a, from a debuff, let's say. So, three people on the three spots. One in the middle, one over here where the, the thing is, right here. And one on the right. And a fourth person goes ki kills the knight, takes the sword, goes across and he kill and they kill the first knight, the first blue knight, the gatekeeper. And I think you need to kill like five or six in order to finish it up. So the first person goes goes across, then the second person, then the third person. And the three people that are across, they do the same thing that you do on this side. One stands in the middle, one on the left, one on the right. And so, so pretty much everyone crosses the bridge, they kill the knights, the bridge is formed, you kill everything and you're done. But we don't have six people. So we're gonna cheese it. So I'm gonna start it up, enemies are gonna spawn. I'm gonna keep getting the sword, going across, dying and coming back. Hopefully, I remember how this works. Hopefully. So I spawned the knight, but I didn't kill him because I rushed it and I don't have a lot of time. So I need to uh, fill up my super and go again until I get all of them. And then you can have fun. Although you can res me, but it's gonna be tricky. If I don't fill up my super, don't don't kill the guy with the uh, with the sword, the red guy. for him. Come here buddy, don't be scared. Oh, he's running away, yo. No, I'll get him. There we go.
I got the first one. If you have your super, feel free to use it, bro. Go ahead. I mean, you can because I'm not solo, but then you have to revive me. So... If you want, you can just let me know. And I can do it that way. Alright. So I need. If, if I was doing this solo, I would need my super because if you go across, there's no way to turn back. But if you don't go too far ahead and you die, it spawns you on the last place you were on this side. But sometimes when I get up on the rock to do the jump, it actually places me too far ahead and the rogue just drops me to my death. And there's nothing I can do with that. But if I'm not solo, uh, you can just raise me so I don't need my super. Let's go for the guy. Go ahead, have fun with him. And also, if you don't shoot him fast enough, he gets his health back. He regenerates. Yep, thank you. Oh my god, I almost didn't make it. Wake up, dude! Damn it! I'm gonna make some ops for you, bro. Maybe. There we go. I'm going for the guy. Yeah, I messed that up. It was bound to happen, and boom. No, you're not useless at all, bro. I made some ops for you if you need them on the right side.
Come on, can I get two of them? I'm risking it. Okay, that somehow didn't work. Hope I didn't mess it up. Moment of truth. Okay, good. How many did I get? Three or four? At least three. Me neither. I always lose count. Uh, do you have your super, bro? Uh, make some mobs for me. No, I run in front of that. Right, awesome. Me too. Run for the guy. Bestie! I get a shout for the bestie. Much love, thank you for showing up. How's your night going? Whee! Where's the guy yet? There you are. Come here. Come here, dude. Was that the last one? Oh shoot, okay, we're good. Doing okay, how are you? I am doing great, dear. Better than another two here. I'm here with Carol's. Here with Mr. Carol's. Oops. I'm here with Mr. Carol's. We're doing the, the Destiny 1 raid. Super fun. Thank you for being here. Yep. Did you sleep well so far, bestie? As I know, it's almost 3 a.m. for you. Give the shot. Of course. All right, you know what? Uh, let's go for the guy, bro. I don't think I need my super again. Just kill him. You good? I'll, I'll wait for you, because I won't be able to get you if you if I go across. Keep waking up, but I feel okay. Yeah, it was so hot yesterday. For me at least. Like I was sweating so much. It was crazy. I'm getting you up, bro. Alright. Welcome. Alright, where's that guy at? There he is. God, yes. Yeah, I know, right? There was. It was so humid. Is that the word? Alright, this should be the last time. If I make it. Come here, dude. Come here. Oh, shit. Got him. And I think it formed. Uh, I'll need the res now, though. That's why I, I use my super when I'm solo. Otherwise, because I have you to revive me. I did it earlier. Although... Why don't I have my super? Didn't I have my super? No, I didn't have my super. I thought I did. Alright, five seconds, bro. Although the bridge didn't form, did it form? I can't see. I can't be revived. Thank you. Ah, um, no, we need one more. Okay. So that wasn't the last one. I'm going to make a pancake. I'll have you on a TV PST. Yummy. Wait, see that again, bro? Okay. 
Yeah, because you're about us. Alright, let's get the guy. Thank you, bestie. No, you're doing great, bro. Don't worry, you, you're gonna do a lot of things right now because you're gonna kill everything. Oh, I think I messed it up. Nope, made it. Come here! Psst. Psst. Okay, and there we go. Alright, so there's two swords on your side. You pick a sword, you cross the bridge, and you kill everyone, bro. Good luck. You got this. Yeah, because I'm on this side, you can take as many as you want. I mean, out of both of them. But if I was on that side and you took both swords, you would have to do everything. Because I wouldn't be able to cross the, the bridge without the sword. You got this, bro. Shit on them. No! Yeah, I know. It's crazy. this yeah you gotta keep killing and they keep spawning and again and again until we get all the blue knights and then we're done kill enemies until all the blue knights come out and you kill those and then you're done with this part just go at him with a sword bro yep I told you they keep spawning until you get all of them and then the blue knights come out Yep, once you kill them, it's over. This part is over, the most annoying part of the raid. Go get him, bro. You got this. And there we go. What you get? Oh, you got the mantle. Nice. See? That wasn't too bad. That was the hardest part of the raid, actually. Yeah. No, you're doing great. 
Carols, no. No. So if you make it fast enough, you get access to this chest. If at least one member of the team gets it. It doesn't give you much on the easy difficulty, but on the higher ones, it gives you like a gear, gear piece, I think. Alright, so stand right here and wait. Don't do anything, bro. So, there's a wizard right above us. But she's sealed on both sides, left and right. So normally, you split up. Three people left, three people right. You kill some enemies that come out. Then there's a wizard. You kill the wizard, then you kill a shrieker. That's how you open that side, technically. And then you have to do the other side, then both sides open, let's say. And then you gotta kill the wizard under a time limit. And that's how you beat the second to last encounter before you do the, the raid boss. So normally I go right first, kill everything. Then I go left, kill everything. Then I pretty much self res if I die and I kill the wizard. And that's the end of the part. But we gotta do this under like a few minutes. So whenever you're ready. Just kill enemies. We're gonna go right first. So follow me and we kill everything. Don't kill the two knights ahead. They do nothing. Just avoid them and follow me. You see the death singer prepares your song. If we don't do it on time, she kills us all. Wow, almost died immediately. There we go. Alright, wizards here. Alright, now go to the other side. I'll take care of the streaker, you run to the opposite side. And go. That's the one side. Over here, bro. To the left side now. Where I am. We gotta kill these guys now. Alright, now go inside. For these dudes and now the witcher should be out behind you yep there you go now we get the shrieker and now the doors will open we gotta kill the death singer and that's the end of the, the of the encounter yep right in the mirror Yeah, she moves around a lot, but at the last 30 seconds, she's gonna stand still to start her her song thing. Diego! What up, bro? I'll give you a shout out in just a second, bro. is yours dude go get her there you go uh, and I got an exotic how are you doing I'm doing great my dude I am doing great yeah I used the three of coins how was how your night going Diego all right let's try and explain the crota fight so you don't get your health back in order to do that, I'm glad you're doing do I'm glad you're doing good, bro. I'm glad you're doing good, Diego. So <clears throat> don't stand in the circle. Let's go outside and explain to you how we're doing this, bro. So this right here, the little broken rocks. Once we both once we both start in the in the circle where the wizard was, we just killed. This is, this is gonna be like built up and Crota's gonna spawn right here. But also right here is the thing called the Chalice of Light that you have to pick up 
in order to get your health back. So you can switch it between players. So I can take it and I can give it to you if you're missing health and I can take it back. And we're gonna be over here once we spawn Crota. We're gonna come down to this part. So Crota spawns in the middle and then he rotates to the right side. You go back, he goes back to the middle and he goes to the left. Then he goes middle, right, middle, blah, blah, blah. And we got 10 minutes to kill him before he goes mad and he starts summoning something that will kill us immediately, almost. So, once we come down here, a dude with a sword is gonna come out from over there, from that door in the middle downstairs, below Crota. You kill that guy and a person picks up the sword. And that sword can only do damage to Crota, but in order to do damage to Crota, he has a shield. You shoot the shield, he goes down on one knee, and then the person with the sword can actually do damage to the, to the, to the boss, to Crota. You hardly have a few minutes. Wait, go ahead. One rocket is not enough, you need more than that. So it's good if you like snipe or use primary ammo against him and all that. But it's because it's the easy mode, he goes down qu quick enough. But if you if the if someone is outside the door or near the door, let's say, he will actually stay in the middle middle, but I want him to go a bit on the right side so I can go faster to him and do damage to him as well. So just stand maximum away you are. If you go further ahead, he will be looking at you and I don't want him to do that. So that's pretty much all. And also don't die because it... Go ahead. Yeah, but... It's better... No, we're not gonna poke we're not both gonna go for that you as soon as we start the encounter you will go outside and immediately come down here and i'll bring the chalice to you if that's fine of course dude we have as many time as much time as we want before we start it so you can go and i'll go too then we can start it yep you better not die bro Oh yeah, also if we die, we, we start from the beginning. No, no not, begin, not, not the beginning of the raid, the beginning of the boss fight. Although that, that would have been a good comeback. I should have said that to get you. <laughs> Alright, let's see what exotic I got by the way. And bam 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 Gondlets Charms Alright Look ahead That's where Clora is gonna spawn Wave to him, dance, terrify him And there's gonna be enemies also But they don't do a lot of damage And I always go left And Whee! Take the chalice if you want. You go on health, there you go. Alright, and here I go. Wish me luck, bro. Hi Crota Shoot him Oh shit, come on dude Okay, that wasn't the best 
Uh, that was actually pretty bad. You see the damage. And he moved to the right. Yeah, that was horrible. But we'll still get him in three swords. I did no damage to him because I turned around by accident. Yeah. But the, the, the sword was like attracted to an enemy behind me and I could have done more damage to Krora, but I think we'll get him in three swords. But they have to be good swords. Yeah. So if you have your super, uh, make some ops for me. But watch out for Krora, because she shoots at you, yep. Yeah. Go. Yep. But don't kill the sword guy yet, the red guy. Yeah, yeah, he has some health. Alright, um. How do we do this now? Alright, this might work, this might not work. Let's find out. No, no, you were too fast. Go now. Okay. Let me see how much damage that did. If it is halfway, it's not good. Yeah, that's not good. We're gonna need two swords. Now ogres are gonna spawn, there are gonna be two ogres, one from each side coming out. I'll let you know when though. Okay, I got my super back, but we're gonna need four swords probably. Okay, ogres coming out. Yep, and ogres are coming out. Wow, that was a bad grenade. Go one. Oh shoot. Oh no. Yeah, he almost got me. Nice. I'll get him. Just don't die, bro. Got him. Good job. Okay, will we have time for Krora now? Maybe. Alright, let me see if I can do this. Alright, let me know if Krora moves and goes to the right. If he's gonna stay in the middle. Because I won't be looking at him. He just moved though, so it will take some time. But just in case. Yeah. Alright, here. Come here, buddy. Alright, we should be good. Ah, shoot. We need one more. Oh, did he swing? Did he hit? Did you see the hit? I heard it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he hits you... No, you good. It goes away. If he hits you, you die one hit and he missed me, which is super rare for it to happen. I did heal the swing and I almost shit myself. Because if I died, that would have been it. You saw it? Yeah, he, he rarely misses, bro. I was super lucky he didn't hit me because it's one hit death and we would have lost the whole thing. Look at his shell. Yeah, but we're almost done, bro. That was the raid. We just gotta wait for Krar to go back to the right. I get the sword one more time and we kill him. Don't don't kill that guy yet, though. Yeah, you can damage him, but don't kill him until Krar moves. 
And there she goes. GG's! Now you even if you die, I still have time. Shoot him. There you go. GG's! That's the right, bro. You got, you got Cora Zen, some of you, and the cryptographic. Nice.